The clips you just saw is one of the projects of the COFP fellows localizing peace building in their various communities. The 35 fellows who qualified for the second COFP fellowship program through a rigorous selection process were made up of leaders from various religious organizations across Nigeria. I'm really amazed and the uh, tone of balance with the combination of the participants as the fellows from different, from all over Nigeria, from Mosesu. Not just Christians, but Muslims, not just Muslims, but Muslims of different sects and the Christians too. So it will help us in a long way that if these persons will go back home and impact on their followers what they have learned, it will help us a long way to live together in peace and to understand each other. I was also thrilled by the, uh, the academic qualification of these persons who took part in this program. It's amazing. I don't know how they came about the selection, but whoever picked them, after almost a year of training by COFP Foundation, which led to a first-hand interaction with other religious leaders, the fellows have learned various peace-building techniques and also unlearned myths and stereotypes which hinders religious tolerance and peaceful coexistence. The first module that was run about four months ago was more of an eye-opening session, especially in the areas of understanding the commonalities and the differences between the two major religions, Islam and Christianity. And the best way that you should approach the scriptures of the two religions. More often than not, those who are not well exposed, so didn't have this kind of opportunities, usually take a, a the scriptures of the other religions from out of context from their own perspective and one major lesson that we drew from that and uh, the engagement in the really first module was to look at every region from the perspective of the adherents of the practitioners of those religions the outstanding thing or skill that i learned was um, the fact that the muslims and the christians that we share common grounds in our respective religion and that there is need for us to build on this common ground and tolerate one another. The fellows have gone through the first and second modules and have carried out expected projects of peace mediation in their various localities. From what I've learned now in this module too, I believe at least I have to go to another level. I want to organize a kind of uh, a program between the Muslims and the Christians where we are going to come to gun together at least and reason together on how to further make peace in the country by you know inviting at least some clerics from the christian side and also from clerics from the muslim side so i'm looking for a situation where we are going to meet at least and now reason together to make sure we better the lot of our coexistence in the country and what i intend to actually take back to my people out there is to establish a peace club and to do that, I intend to start with the young minds, which I believe they are the future of tomorrow. Because whatever the briefing they are given, that sticks to their mind and that determines how they live their life and how they coexist with their fellow brothers of other faiths and religion. All is now set for the third and the final module of the 2020 fellowship program, which was delayed by the outbreak of the COVID-19 pandemic. The module one has taken place and the module one is all about learning the basics, the foundation of dialogue, learning comparative religious studies, the basis of each, each religions we have in the country and the need for dialogue among these various religious organizations. And then the second model is about practice, putting into practice what we have learned stepping down the training at the community level so it's about practical and then the third model is about developing professional career making the fellowship program part of the 
professional career that one has to implement at the end of the fellowship program, drawing up a kind of action plan after the fellowship program. So module one we have done, which was um, around July this year. Module two is right now taking place. And by the gra special grace of God, by next year, around April, we will have module three, which will wrap up the entire fellowship program for one year. And then by July next year, by God's grace, we start another cohort of fellows who will be coming together for the fellowship program. So this is what it is all about. Um, it is about building common grounds for peace. It is about bridging divides. It is about building bridges. It is about building resilience for peace. It is about countering violent extremism. It is about helping people to understand themselves so that together we can build peace, we can build stability, we can build development in our country, Nigeria. For these men and women to eventually emerge as 2020 COFP fellow and peace ambassadors, they must have completed 130 credit courses and carried out projects expected of them to be addressed as fellows and will join the alumni there after. Coming with the, I would say with the myopic knowledge and uh, just the basic knowledge of Islam. But here, the, the uh, lectures we had so far, my knowledge has been opened up. My, how me to understand the tenets and fundamentals of the other religion, the Christianity. And I've come to realize that there are so many common grounds that, are, that belong to the two religions. And based on these, and I've now seen that we are worshiping the same God and we are one. In the first model, I learned about a relationship between Christianity and Islam, looking into Quran and Bible, the common ground in Christianity and in Islam. I used the first model as a panacea to develop a relationship between my department, which is Christian Religious Studies and Islamic Studies. And in this second model, I'm still learning a method and process of mediation, the steps of mediation and a pattern of mediation. I will use it in order to solve some conflicts that has to do with cultural, interreligious, and even family conflicts. Coming from the northeastern states that has is experienced death and blames, it will be very important for me to apply that mediation skills for my community. They have a greater influence in countering extremists within their groups than in an interfaith collaboration. So it's useful for religious leaders to have that network because it helps them become better people. Uh, but then together, I think they also have a symbolic role such that people realize that if their leaders are getting together, they have really no excuse to undermine peace building efforts. The COFP Foundation is positive that this set will graduate and contribute meaningfully to peace building and mutual coexistence in Nigeria and the rest of Africa. I've learned that most of the time is, is the way we are being brought up and our environment that, that makes us be what we are or do what we do. And me personally, as I went back home, I begin to come closer to the other religion. I begin to know more about their religion because I knew less when I first came. But because I now have inf information, I wanted to know more and I wanted to relate better with them, to understand them. So I started with myself. And by with this second module now, I'm planning on taking it out to the outer community where I stay instead of just within. And I really want to thank the COFP Foundation for this particular program. And I pray that they will, they will reach out to as many so that we can cover as much as we can cover, so that people will know and understand that it is not religion that is our differences. In the first model, I learned a lot because it broadened my understanding of what the Christian religion, the tenants, is all about. And uh, I see that we should be together to develop on the common values we have together. So I want to use this medium to appreciate His Eminence for the foundation He has put in place. 
we i find no words to thank him but my prayer is that god almighty will continue to strengthen him and uh the message we have learned from here by the grace of the almighty we will go back and send down those messages to within our family in our places of work in our community